DPI. Unless referring to your monthly Dr. Pepper intake, it's an acronym typically tied closely to gaming, especially in first-person shooters. You've probably heard of it before, but what actually is DPI? What settings should you be using, and why? DPI and eDPI DPI stands for dots per inch, and it refers to how far your mouse cursor moves across the screen per physical inch moved on your mouse mat. The dots, in effect, are pixels on your monitor. In a first-person game, that equates to how quickly your character turns as you move the mouse. Higher DPI means faster turning. With the same in-game sensitivity, check out how far we spin in Valorant at 400 versus 2400 DPI across 30 centimeters of movement. That's roughly 12 inches. Yeesh. Sorry, Phoenix. We weren't aiming to make you so dizzy. This is crazy. It feels like we've been doing this forever. But that's not quite the full picture either, because your movement also varies with in-game sensitivity. The real number we care about is effective DPI, calculated by multiplying in-game sensitivity with your mouse's actual DPI. A DPI of 1,600 with an in-game sensitivity of 1, for example, is identical to 800 DPI with a sensitivity of 2. Assuming we didn't fail math class, that is. Why 400 to 800 DPI is best for shooters. Scan through any list of pro DPI settings and you'll find yourself in a vast ocean of 400s and 800s, with only the occasional 1600 or other value poking out above the waves. So why don't pros push higher? The less you have to move your hand to reach your target, the better, right? Well, not entirely. You see, accuracy is paramount in most shooters, especially when trying to line up a headshot from the end of Dust's long A. A lower effective DPI grants you finer control over the position of your crosshair, allowing greater consistency between hand movements. A simple way to do that is lowering your mouse's DPI. It also makes adjusting your in-game sensitivity easier as you're learning. A tiny shift on high DPI will cause huge change to your in-game motions, making small tweaks nearly impossible. Not convinced? Here's us attempting Valorant's firing range at 16,000 DPI. Try not to vomit. Yeah, we're going to stick with 800, thanks. Of course, this all depends on how much space you have available on your desk. A good rule of thumb is that you should be able to turn 180 degrees within the length of your mouse map, just enough to catch anyone sneaking up from behind you. Our recommendation is to find a DPI between 400 and 800 that you're happy with when moving the cursor on your desktop. Then adjust your in-game sensitivities from there. Using Ingenuity, you can even set up separate profiles you can swap to when it's game time. How to adjust DPI in Ingenuity Ingenuity makes adjusting your DPI settings easy, no matter what HyperX mouse you're rocking. Load it up, select mouse from the left bar, and swap to the sensor tab at the top. Here, you can set your current DPI profile, and assign extra levels you can swap to with a button press. Click if you want to go faster. Ingenuity also gives you a little more control than most, so if you feel like you're a 550 DPI player rather than a 400, you do you. An RGB mouse like the Pulsefire Surge will even let you light up each profile in a thematic colour. A cool blue for slow, heating things up with orange, and red for oh god please make it stop. <sighs> sensitivity Converters So, once you've picked your DPI, you just need to adjust your sensitivity inside each game. Easier said than done, however, as there's no consistency between each game's scale. Fortunately, there are some easy conversions you can use to level your aim between your favourites. Feel free to pause now, as here is what you need to swap between CSGO, Valorant, Apex Legends, Rainbow Six Siege, and Overwatch. Find your starting game via the row, then multiply the sensitivity you use there by the number underneath the game you're swapping to. Sorted! Now that you've learned the DPI basics, put that knowledge to work by shifting that mouse precisely over to the like and subscribe buttons. Cheers, and while you're here, why not check out these other videos from HyperX.